What if Itachi got the Eternal Mangeko Sharingan? When an Uchiha feels great emotion, an unlikely phenomena occurs within the brain which causes them to activate the Dojutsu known as the Sharingan. But an even more rare exception of a Sharingan is when a user achieves a Mangeko Sharingan when pushed to the emotional edge. The Mangeko grants powerful abilities that differ from eye to eye, from person to person. Itachi has gained the Amaterasu in one eye and the Tsukuyomi in the other eye. Once the user awakens both Mangeko, they're able to perform something known as a Susano. However, as powerful as Itachi was, he suffered from his disease of an unknown cause. And as with any high level dojutsu, the Mangeko Sharingan has steeper chakra demands than most. It was causing Itachi to slowly lose his light, which means he almost went blind from overusing the Mangeko Sharingan. However, Itachi claimed that there was one way around this, and that was to obtain the Eternal Mangeko Sharingan, also known as the EMS, well that's what I'm going to be referring to it as, which could only be achieved through implanting a relative's Mangeko Sharingan into one's own eye sockets. Ultimately, Itachi didn't go ahead with his plan because who figures it was all a facade. He never wanted to harm Sasuke. However, what if Itachi was truly evil? What if he wanted to kill Sasuke and he stole his eyes like he had claimed? How strong would Itachi become from achieving the Eternal Mangeko Sharingan? Could he surpass Madara as he claimed? Before we get started, I'm King Bullet, and if you haven't subscribed, I recommend checking out my other videos. And who knows, you might actually like my other trash videos. Also, this video should drop on the day of the Queen's funeral, so rip the Queen. Well now, getting into this, and setting out the rules, there's a clear problem. Yes, Itachi is severely weakened by his illness. In fact, he was on heavy medication, and also had his short life expectancy. He was pretty much on his deathbed versus Sasuke. However, we're never really told if it was due to the Mangeko Sharingan or not, so we don't know the original cause of his disease. So I'll have to go over two hypotheticals. How strong is the hypothetical ill EMS Itachi, and how strong is the hypothetical healthy EMS Itachi. If you were to say that Itachi's illness wasn't caused by overusing the Mangeko Sharingan, then gaining the EMS wouldn't cure it. Sure, he'd get stronger from gaining the EMS, but overall his power level wouldn't rise, since he's still weakened by the illness. So to figure out how strong ill EMS Itachi would be, we'd have to figure out how strong he is generally without the EMS. An ill suppressed Mangeko Sharingan Itachi is stated to be stronger than Mangeko Sharingan Sasuke, and this is according to the Naruto Jinraiden novel. Well what I mean by this is, Sasuke even after achieving the Mangeko Sharingan within his novel believes that he's still weaker than the Itachi that he faced. It should be noted that this version of Itachi was also holding back against Sasuke too. It should also be noted that the Mangeko Sharingan is a counterpart to Naruto's Kurama Chakra Mode, what I'm going to refer to as KCM during this video. Naruto and Sasuke are constantly compared, even during the early war arc, their rivals, so KCM won Naruto, and Mangeko Sharingan and Sasuke should at least be relative to each other, which does kind of make sense. Sasuke can contend with Killer B when using his Mangeko Sharingan, and so can KCM Naruto. So Itachi should be around that level even when ill. So if Itachi is that strong when he's ill, what kind of increase would he get or what kind of amp would he get when he uses EMS? So to figure out how strong you'd get exactly, we need to take a look at Sasuke, since Sasuke has the Eternal Mangeko Sharingan himself. Sasuke as we established was around the level of Kurama Chakra Mode Naruto when just using his normal Mangeko Sharingan, but when he uses the Eternal Mangeko Sharingan or gains access to it by taking Itachi's eyes, he became the counterpart to Naruto's Kurama Mode 2, you know the one with the cloak, I'm just going to call it KCM2. This is made abundantly clear when the two fight together against Tentails Chinchuriki Obito and seem to be around the same tier. They wouldn't really be able to fight together if they weren't around the same tier. So because MS Sasuke and KCM Naruto are on the same level, and then EMS Sasuke and KCM2 Naruto are on the same level, so this just proves that the EMS amp is around, or at least equivalent to the same amp that Naruto gets from going, from only being able to use a fraction of Kurama's power, KCM1, to being able to use KCM2, which is all of Kurama's chakra. So the EMS gives a similar amp, that's all I'm saying. If that's the case, that would make Itachi just using his normal Magiko Sharingan on KCM level, and then when he uses EMS, he becomes KCM2 level, pretty much. So when he's ill, he should be around the same level as, I guess, Sasuke, or at least close to it. Meaning he would technically still be weaker than the Edo Itachi variant of himself, since that version's got the illness taken off. That version of Itachi is around the same strength, but he doesn't need the EMS or doesn't have it. So it just shows what a massive detriment that illness is to Itachi. So now we can move on to the second hypothetical. What if the EMS made Itachi healthy and got rid of his illness? So this is healthy Itachi with the EMS. Like I said, it depends on your interpretation. So if I were to say that Itachi's illness was in fact caused by overusing the Mangeko Sharingan, then gaining the EMS would probably cure him, or at least hypothetically. If this did happen, then hypothetically, this healthy EMS Itachi would be ridiculously powerful. 
When reanimated, Itachi could easily trade hands with uh, KCM Naruto without Ismangeko Sharingan even active. He would go on to even outclass EMS Sasuke vs Kabuto, since he was the one carrying the fight really. In fact, as many of you already know, it was around this time Sasuke was considered the equal of Itachi, at least according to the fourth data book. So obviously, this Itachi is still weakened because he's been reanimated. Being reanimated still weakens you. So a healthy Itachi is one who's alive and one without the illness, meaning he's stronger than all of these feats. Meaning healthy Mangeko Sharingan Itachi should easily be beyond EMS Sasuke's level. So now we can apply the EMS amp to him. So if the EMS amp is around or equivalent to Naruto going from being able to use a fraction of Kuruma's power to all of it, then that's just how much more powerful Itachi would be. And it still is a pretty big gulf in power too, the difference between KCM 1 and 2. For example, Naruto went from being bodied and unable to keep up with the version 2 Biju to easily overpowering the complete full form Biju. I think it was around 5 of them. So yeah, he's just drastically stronger. I reckon he's probably greater than the Sage mode amp. What else do we know? We know that Naruto in Kurama Chakra Mode 2 or KCM2 wasn't really a match for Tentails, Jinchuriki, Obito, mainly because you require Senjutsu over Ninjutsu to be able to harm a Tentails, Jinchuriki. However, when Naruto stacks Sage Mode onto his Kurama Chakra Mode 2 or KCM2, he's able to somewhat contend with Tentails, Jinchuriki, Obito. He's capable of tracking his movements and also harming Obito as well. So his healthy EMS Itachi should probably be in that realm of power if not beyond that. So to answer the question that I asked at the beginning of a video, would EMS Itachi be stronger than Madra? Well if he's ill, probably not, he'd probably lose since I established that he's no stronger than he would be when reanimated. But if he's healthy and he has EMS, then he comfortably beats characters like Edo Tensei Madra, since Itachi would be like a whole KCM2 level above a KCM2 level character, meaning he's more like Jubito's level. However, it's hard to say whether this version of Itachi, this hypothetical version of Itachi, could fight like a live EMS Madra, since apparently he might be stronger than even Tentails and Shuriki Obito. If you don't think he is, then Itachi would win. And also, Itachi still has some pretty good hacks. He has the Amaterasu, so he could beat this version of Madra, but that's where it stops. He would not be able to beat Six Paths Chinchuriki Madra. He would just prove too powerful to handle for Itachi. One last exciting thing that I want to go over is the possibility of a perfect Susanoo. The EMS isn't technically required to use the Susanoo, as proven by Kakashi when he gains both Mangeko Sharingan. However, the progression of Itachi's Dojutsu would probably allow him to use the perfect Susanoo very soon. Remember that Itachi was considered a talent greater than Sasuke, at least pre-6 Buffs powers. Sasuke's rate of growth was pretty ridiculous. He'd gone from using only the Ribcage Susanoo to the perfect Susanoo over the span of a couple of months. Considering Itachi already has the Armored Susanoo, he probably wouldn't be that far away from obtaining the perfect Susanoo if he did have the EMS. Even without it, I reckon he was pretty close. Maybe it was just his illness hindering him from developing, since he just didn't have a chakra capacity or something. So let's say he gained this perfect Susanoo, what would it look like? Well, we know that in Ninja Storm 4, that Itachi's perfect Susanoo exists and is usable. Remember, Kishimoto designed it, so it definitely gives it more credence, at least to the idea that Kishimoto thought it was possible for Itachi to obtain such a power. It will definitely be physically stronger than Sasuke's perfect Susanoo, the one that uses a curse mark right before he gains a 6 Puffs power for sure. What's even more insane about Itachi's hypothetical perfect Susanoo is that it should retain Itachi's spiritual Susanoo tools, meaning that he would have his gigantic version of the Tsuka Blade, which can seal his opponent from extremely far distances. However, the gourd that is usually retrieved from is missing. Perhaps it's a different sword without sealing properties? I can't say. Also, whether he actually has a Yata mirror or not is up for debate too, since it's nowhere to be seen. It'd be pretty useful considering that it has the power to negate any attack, whether it be spiritual or physical. It's said that the Yata mirror can be endowed with nature transformations, changing its nature to nullify incoming attacks. Black Zetsu claimed that this combined with the sword made Itachi Susanoo pretty much invincible, so you can imagine how broken a perfect Susanoo with these weapons could be possibly. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, the perfect Susanoo in Ninja Storm, Ninja Storm 4 has been shown capable of using the Yasaka Magatama, Itachi's quote-unquote strongest ninjutsu, which would hold far more destructive power than it usually does, probably enough to actually destroy a Chabaku Tensei all by himself if I'm being honest. Anyway, that should pretty much conclude the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Comment down below how strong you think EMS Itachi would be. I've also done a video on Itachi vs Gojo before, so you can check that out if you want. If you like these kind of videos, sub, like the video, and I'll see you later. Peace.